بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته ما شاء الله سيستر ياشمين she's always the first how are you brothers and sisters this is Riyad Wazazi we're coming you to uh, uh, the series walking with the Prophet it's the Sira uh, but today as I've been always saying that it's not just a Sira series it's more then um, you know it's Sira and beyond because we talk not just about the uh, events or incidents that happened in the life of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, but we also talk about um, we also talk about the person you know the person of the Prophet as a his uh, uh, personality we talk about him as a you know as a, as a human being as a husband as a as a, um, as a brother we talked about him as a um, as a leader والسلام, we talk about him as a teacher we talk about him as a, a father uh, inshallah ta'ala so uh, today inshallah ta'ala will be an interesting day because today we're going to spend a day with the Prophet والسلام. so those of you on Instagram and those of you on Facebook uh, welcome, welcome back Zakumullah uh, khair for joining uh, today is going to be a special day because I'm not going to go through, you know, the actual sila because we went last, you know, yesterday we talked about Prophet Muhammad entering Medina, the inauguration of the masjid, you know, uh, and, and, and the, we talked about the masjid of the Prophet, we described the, prophet, the masjid of the Prophet, but today we want to spend one day or one night with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right? So let me ask all of you how you guys are doing. Those of you on Instagram, those of you on Facebook, who's out there on Facebook? I don't know why I don't, cannot read Facebook. I have no idea why. How's everybody doing? How's uh, Naz and Aim Thabit and Naz Thabit and Karima and Samantha and uh, and Yasmin? Uh, all the regulars are always here. Uh, you know, I know it takes a little bit of time for all the others to come. You know, to come live. But we'll, uh, we'll give them a chance, inshallah ta'ala. We're just going to give a minute. Get your books ready, your notes ready. I hope you'll be taking notes today because, as I said, today will be a very, very special day. You know, living with the Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, or walking with the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasalam, upon the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad. Karima, where in the world have you been? You know, it's been just a long time. What is going on? Where have you been? Hiding, you know, in in Belgium where there's nothing you know what's going on I hope you guys are doing all right Bikhair walhamdulillah all right all right all right light spread and just join as well who is on Facebook oh, I cannot read, read these things why no I don't understand why I cannot read Facebook why can I need read Facebook you guys uh, no, let's switch that. There we go. Uh, give me one second. I inshallah I'll just try to face fix this. Why did you touch it, man? There we go. Okay. Yalla, bismillah. So what is the uh the bagnamish of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa You know, what does he do? You know, uh, how was his day? You know, we're gonna, we want, don't you, don't you, not, you know, like, have you ever wondered how does Prophet Muhammad spend his day? You know, when does he normally give lectures or sermons or, or reminders? Uh, when does he, uh, when does he go and, 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 uh, and meet the Sahaba and talk to them? When does he go actually and meet his wives and visit them? Uh, when, when does he eat? Have you ever wondered when does he eat? Prophet Azam, like his breakfast, when does he have breakfast? You know, when does he have lunch? When does he have dinner? Uh, what does he eat for breakfast? What does he eat for lunch? I mean, have you ever wondered, brothers and sisters, uh, have you ever wondered about Prophet Muhammad, you know, his, uh, his diet, for instance, the diet of the Prophet? Wouldn't you want to know about his diet? Wouldn't you want to know about, you know, his uh, uh, sleeping, you know, patterns? Like, where does he sleep? What time does he wake up? Does he do qailula? Does he not? Sometimes does he, you know, does he do it all the time? Or, you know, I, I, I was wondering about, you know, the schedule, like the program of the Prophet Muhammad, والسلام, his daily routine. So today, inshallah ta'ala, that's what we're going to talk about, bi'idhnillah. I want to take you all, inshallah ta'ala, 
to visit Prophet Muhammad. Who's ready? Instagram, who's ready? Facebook, who's ready? Who's ready to go and visit Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Come on, you guys. We want to go visit him in his home. Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. Let us go and visit Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. Let me, I want to describe you. In fact, I want to describe his home to you. Ya hala, Musliman Azimali and Riyad Ibtisam and Layla and Nawal. You, the, the, the giants have woken up. The Belgium uh, connection, you know, ha, has finally woken up the German, the Belgium connection, you know. This is the, the Moroccan way of welcoming, you know, uh, us Moroccans. So, brothers and sisters, you guys are ready, inshallah ta'ala. Yalla bismillah. We are going to go visit Prophet Muhammad in his home, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're going to knock at the door and then we want him to open the door and then we want to go inside or we're just going to go and see what he does. Alayhi salatu wassalam. We're going to start before Fajr. We're going to start before Fajr. We're going to start, you know, early in the morning. We're going to start, you know, as he is sleeping. I'd like you to use your imagination with me. Okay, brothers and sisters, I'm going to describe the events. And today it will be like you're watching a movie, right? Like you're watching a very nice documentary. Get your, you know, teas or your coffees. Get your chocolate if you're from Belgium. Get your chocolate or hot chocolate. Get your, uh, you know, whatever you need to get, right? Your atai. Get your Moroccan tea. huh? Get your Moroccan tea. Have a sit somewhere and, and, and relax and let's have fun. What are we going to do? Let us go visit Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right? Let us go visit him. We knock at the door. How many times do we knock at the door? We knock three times. The sunnah is that, you know, you knock three times. You know, the first time if nobody opens you. Again, you knock again the second time if nobody opens. You knock a third time. So Prophet Muhammad in his home, by the way, my brothers and sisters, look at the home of the Prophet. Look at the house of the Prophet. You know, can you see the furniture? Can you see the furniture? What furniture does he have? Masha, can you see this carpet? He, this carpet, this silky carpet that just got, you know, shipped from, from, uh, from, uh, from Afghanistan or from Turkey, you know, or from Iran, right? Very beautiful carpet. No, 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 that's not what he had, alayhi salatu wassalam. In fact, his home is 3.5 meter by 5.5 meters. Five, five meter, you know, the, 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 the height of it is five and the width is 3.5. Khalas, this is it. This is the house of Rasulullah, alayhi salatu wassalam. 3.5, five meters long. That's how, uh, and that, what does he have in his home, by the way, alayhi salatu wassalam? What kind of furniture does he have? The type of furniture that, 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 that the Prophet had, والسلام, let me count them with you. you know. He had a bedding. He had a bedding. And that bedding والسلام, uh, uh, was filled with uh, palm leaves. Filled with palm leaves. And then he had a pillow also. You know, from you know, the outside of it is like leather, but the inside is filled with, 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 uh, with palm leaves. And then he had. Uh, a cup that he used to drink water in, that is Salatu Salam, and he had a water holder, like a, a like a water container. But that water container was uh, it, it was made of a, of a, uh, the the gut of a, of an animal, right? So they used to bring it was the gut of that of an animal, like the uh, the sheep or or a camel or whatnot. They used to clean clean that you know that 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 gut, and they used to make it like a water holder, you know. So that's what he had. That's all he had. He had he had um, uh, um, you know a, a bedding on the ground, and he had hasir by the way. Hasir hasir is that that carpet that made of a. Uh, of uh, it's not it's nothing silky or anything it's just these uh you know uh bushish kind of thing you know it's it's not it's, it's nothing fancy at all so it just you know it's it's a bedding it's a pillow it's a cup it's a water holder so here he is sleeping one day alayhi salatu wassalam in and haisha was awake haisha was awake and prophet muhammad that day that died 
he was sleeping, but he was reclining and putting his head on the lap of Aisha. Brothers and sisters, are you are you following, right? Are you following with me here? Those of you on Instagram, those of you on Facebook, are you guys following with me so far? You know? Talk to me, talk to me quickly. Are you guys following so far? Because we we just starting this this beautiful, beautiful, you know, film, you know, visiting Prophet Muhammad inside his home. Right? Okay, so Prophet Muhammad is in his home, right? Sleeping, reclining on the lap of Aisha. And Aisha, she cried. She cried. Yeah, she cried. Why was she crying? Late at night. And then a tear fell on the cheek of the Prophet. So the Prophet woke up. The Prophet woke up. Aisha, she's crying. Rasulullah is sleeping. And he is putting his, uh, his head, cheek, on the lap of Aisha. How beautiful is that? How romantic is that? How shari is that? How, how emotional, spiritual is that? Prophet Muhammad reclining on, putting his head on the lap of Aisha. Late at night, Aisha wasn't sleeping. She was, you know, she cried. And then uh, 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 a tear fell on the cheek of the Prophet. So the Prophet woke up. The Prophet Ayyusam woke up and then told Aisha, Aisha, you're crying. Aisha, you're crying. What made you cry? Oh, Aisha, what made you cry? She says, what do you think she would say? Yani, is she complaining about the fact that they didn't even have uh, uh, anything to light up their house? They didn't have, sometimes they would go for a month with no food. The only thing that they would be, you know, if, you know like living off of is, is you know, our dates and water. Date and water. That's all they had. You know, sometimes for over a month, Al Aswadan. Al Aswadan, the two black, the dark ones, the two dark ones, date and water. That's all he had. So did she complain that, Ya Rasulullah, why are you crying? Uh, why can I not have a place like my other sisters? Why can I not have, you know, I'm the wife of a prophet. I am the wife of a prophet. Can I just not have a uh, uh, um, a nicer place, a bigger place with a, a decent furniture, the least, uh, a decent life. You know, is this why she was complaining? Is this why she was crying? No, that's not why she was crying. She cried because she said, Ya Rasulullah, do people remember their loved ones in the Day of Judgment? What? Do people remember their loved ones in the Day of Judgment? That's what made her cry late at night. I just described to you the home of the Prophet. And she had all the right. You know, if she wasn't happy, then she could move on, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. Yet, she was fully, fully happy, pleased, submitting, you know, herself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She is the wife of a Prophet. She is Umm al-Mu'mineen. She is your mother and mine. She's your mother and mine. She is the mother of the believers. Umm al-Mu'mineen. Aisha radiallahu anha wa arda. Right? So she said, Ya Rasulullah, do people, do people remember their loved ones in the Day of Judgment? That was her question. But this time, Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam, he's sleeping in his bed. And Aisha, she's sleeping next to him. And then he would hear the first adhan the adhan of uh of not bilal of abdullah ibn, ibn, ibn um maktoum abdullah ibn um maktoum the blind man who used to make the first adhan to wake people people up for for uh to wake people up for tahajjud or to have their suhoor if they're fasting you know, so there were two adans at the time. Even today, my brothers and sisters, if you go to Mecca and Medina, they always have two adans for Fajr. The first adan to wake people up if they want to have uh, the suhoor or if they want to pray. And then the second adan is for the salah. Right? So this happened at the time of the Prophet Muhammad. The first adan was made by Abdullah ibn Umar Maktoum and the second adan was made by Bilal. Radiallahu anhu atta. So he would wake up alayhi salatu wassalam the first thing he would do 
What is the first thing you think Prophet Muhammad would do when he wakes up? The first thing that Prophet Muhammad would do when he wakes up is this. Watch me. Watch me. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He would rub his, his eyes to just like remove any sleep, any anything that may have come up when he was sleeping, alayhi salatu wasalam. Before doing anything or before saying anything, the first thing that he would do is rub his eyes. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he would say, Alhamdulillah. الحمد لله الذي أحيانا بعدما أماتنا وإليه النشور. He would say الحمد لله الذي أحيانا بعدما أماتنا وإليه النشور. Praise be to Allah who has given us given given us life after he after بعدما أماتنا after he has taken out our souls and yes. Those who sleep and those who actually go to sleep at night, you know, as if they are dead. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings them back to life, you know, when they wake up. So the Prophet used to say the very first thing is, Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, the very first thing, the very first thing, subhanallah, you know, that the Prophet used to say is Alhamdulillah. The very first thing that our father Adam said in Jannah is Alhamdulillah. He sneezed, he sneezed. And then the angels told him, say Alhamdulillah. So he said, Alhamdulillah. The very first thing that you read in the Quran is Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The very first thing that you and I, inshallah, will say when we enter the Jannah is Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alladhi Hadana. Alhamdulillah, Alladhi Hadana. Praise be to Allah who has given us guidance. This is the first thing that we shall say once we enter Jannah. Alhamdulillah ladhi hadana. Alhamdulillah. This is the very first thing. So the Prophet when he wakes up, he says, Alhamdulillah ladhi ahyana ba'dama amatana wa ilayhi nushur. Brothers and sisters, do you say that when you wake up? Those of you on Facebook and those of you on Instagram. Do you say that when you wake up? Do you say Alhamdulillah? Please, always, before you check your phone, before you check your phone, before you check your phone, uh, is that that and then the phone just went, before you check your phone, before you check your messages, before you, you call him or her, before you, before you scream, before you hit your husband, before you slap your husband, before you pinch your husband, I didn't say your wife, huh? so I'm, 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 I'm okay, before you punch him, before you kick him, before, Alhamdulillah, and don't kick your husband, or punch him, or, or tickle him, no, don't do that, just, you know, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, alladhi ahyana, ba'dama amatana, wa ilayhi nushur, and what's the next thing he does, alayhi salatu wassalam, the next thing he does is, he takes his miswak, he takes his miswak, so he does this, he says, Alhamdulillah, and then he takes his miswak, and then he starts, you know, you know, uh, applying it. Alayhi salatu wassalam. He used to have his miswak next to his head. Before he used to enter his home, he used to put the miswak on. Ya salam. Brothers, you know what that means? Let me talk to the brothers. All right, let me talk to the brothers. What does that mean, brothers? You know, the first thing Prophet Muhammad does when he enters home is he puts the miswak on. Why does he do that? Why does he do that, brothers and sisters? No, let me talk to the brothers, all right? Let me, let me see if the brothers know about this. I mean, the Yushga should know. Those of you on Facebook, those of you, why would the Prophet, you know, you know, put the miswak on before entering home? Ali Sattu, the first thing he does. Who's going, who is he going to greet? Who is he going to greet? He's going to greet his wife. So why does he put the miswak on before he enters his home? Like you, you know, maybe you take some preparing to look good to impress his wife. 
preparing to look good? Well, if you put the miswak, you don't look good. <laughs> Maybe you smell good. <laughs> Maybe you smell good exactly, exactly to smell good, to smell good because what is going on? A kiss is coming. A kiss is coming. But Rani, you are the man. You are the man. Yes, because he's going to kiss his wife. So because he's going to kiss his wife and there is no shame in this. All right? Don't say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Don't play the Pakistani game on me. Don't play the Arabi game on me. Don't play the, the Sheikh Sheikhi game on me. Don't play the Sunnah police on me. Don't play the Sunnah police on me. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. I'm telling you what the Prophet does when he goes home. Huh? Until you tell me, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. No, he does. He puts the miswak and then he goes now to prepare to kiss his wife, radiallahu anhu, ha, and sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right? So he wants to smell good. You know, somebody is just, yeah, or somebody, you know, before he, uh, he enters his home, he takes a cigarette. Huh? He takes a cigarette. You know, and then he goes home. Honey, honey, come. Uh, you stay back. You know, uh, you, uh, you, you came. I know you're here. You're here. I don't have to come. Salamu alaikum. Okay, good. Khalas, you can stay there. I, yani, you, the smell of, I don't know what it is, or somebody just ate yani, some spicy, spicy biryani with some curry, and there's like, you know, things coming out his mouth. Yeah, and the smell of the curry, the smell of the spices, the smell of the this, and the smell of the garlic, and the smell of the onions, because he's eating all that raw onions and the raw, you know, you know garlic, and then all these things, you know, and then he goes home. Assalamu alaikum, kia hal hai, abka, ka, chalo, chalo, uh, jow, 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 uh, what, jow, jow, I want to give you a kiss, I miss you, I want to give you a kiss, zakallah khair, zakallah khair, you can kiss me from the air, give me an air kiss, huh? you stay back there and give me an air kiss, from far give me an air kiss, like this, Ahsan. even, even, even don't do, don't do, why don't do, because that, I will smell the biryani, I will smell the spices, I will smell the red onion, and I will smell the white onion, and I will smell the yellow onion, I will smell the, 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 what else? I will smell the garlic. No, just do, ah, do, do, do this. Don't do. What is going on here, man? I mean, I know maybe I'm exaggerating, huh? Maybe, but you get the point, don't you? You get the point. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would take the miswak. Hmm. He would take the miswak and then he would uh, uh, wrap his uh, yani, plate uh, uh, to his uh, teeth kida, and then he would go home sallallahu alayhi wa But now he's sleeping, right? He just woke up. So as he just woke up, he went to again brush, you know, like, you know, rub, uh, brush his, uh, his uh, teeth alayhi salatu wasalam with the miswak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he, you know, after saying alhamdulillah, الذي أحيانا بعدما أماتنا وإليه النشور الحمد لله الذي أحيانا بعدما أماتنا وإليه النشور and then if he needs to make wudu he will go and make wudu if he needs to go and take a shower he will go and take a bath and sometimes he would go straight to his salah without wudu why? Because he just spent the whole night and maybe his eyes are closed, but his heart didn't sleep at all. He did not sleep. So he would go straight into salah. A lot of people didn't know this. A lot of people didn't go know this. So sometimes, as soon as he wakes up, right, he will, he will go either make wudu, or if he needs to take a bath, he will go on and, and, make a, and take a bath. Or sometimes he would go straight and make wudu, I mean, and pray. Why? Because he did not, uh, he did not sleep at all, sallallahu alayhi wa So sometimes he would go and lead the salah without wudu. Why? Because he already had his wudu. He didn't break it, sallallahu alayhi wa So, um, and then, and then he would start with two rakat, very light ones. These two light rakat, very light ones, these are, uh, these are just to get him to get started with the long PM that he used to do, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
so he would uh rakatan you know this qiyam of the prophet maybe we should go and talk about the qiyam now i'm gonna make one session just talking about the qiyam of the prophet muhammad the night prayer of the prophet yes i'm gonna have one session talking about the night prayer of the prophet muhammad so now let's just talk about you know uh, uh let's just talk about prophet muhammad after he hears the adhan of bilal radiallahu anhu wa after he hears the Adan of Bilal, Bilal says, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Then the Prophet will say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The Prophet will say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. The Prophet would say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. And then the Prophet would say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Bilal would say, Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. And, Bilal would, and the Prophet would say, Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. He is Muhammad. So he bears witness that he is Rasulullah. And Bilal would say, Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. And Prophet Muhammad will say, Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. Bilal will say, Hayya ala salam. And then the Prophet would say, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might, no power except with Allah. And then Bilal would say, and then the Prophet will say, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. Then Bilal will say, حي على الفلاح. Come to success. Prophet will say, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. There is no might and no power except with Allah. Then Bilal will say, Hayya ala al-falah. And then the Prophet would say, La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. There is no might, no power except with Allah. And then Bilal will say, As-salatu khayrun min al-nawm. Salat is better than, than nawm. Salat is better, sisters, brothers. Salat is better than, than sleeping. And then the Prophet will say, As-salatu khayrun min al-nawm. As-salatu khayrun min al-nawm. And then the Prophet Muhammad again will say, As-salatu khayrun min al-nawm. Then Bilal will say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And then the Prophet would say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Then Bilal would say, La ilaha illallah. And then the Prophet would say, La ilaha illallah. And then he would say, وَأَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ اللَّهُمَّ رَبَّ هَذِهِ الدَّعْوَةِ التَّامَّةِ وَالصَّلَاةِ الْقَائِمَةِ آتِ مُحَمَّدًا الْوَسِيلَةَ وَالْفَضِيلَةَ وَبْعَثْهُ الْمَقَامَ الْمَحْمُودَ الَّذِي وَعَدْتَهُ This is the dua that the Prophet used to say right after hearing the adhan. Memorize it. If you don't know it, memorize it. And then repeat after the mu'adhin when you hear the mu'adhin, right? And then say this dua. Even if you have, let's say, your alarm that has the, the, the adhan at home. Since now, after this lockdown, a lot of people are praying at home. You can have this adhan on your phone, the adhan on your on your, on your your computer, on your laptop, whatever, right? If it, you know the adhan kicks out, you can repeat you know, after the mu'adhin. And then you say at the end, Allahumma rabba hadihi al-da'wati al-tamma wa al-salati al-qa'ima ati muhammadan al-wasilat wal-fadila wa ba'athu al-maqam al-mahmud al-ladhi wa'adda. Then the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam would pray to Raka'a in his home. He would pray to Raka'a in his home. The first Raka'a, he would recite al-Fatiha. Then, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد 
ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم واليدين and then the second rak'ah he will recite al-fatiha and then he will read oh, and then he will recite qul huwa allahu ahad allahu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad these are the two rak'ah that the prophet used to pray he used to say listen to this brothers and sisters he used to say rak'at al-fajr khayrun min ad-dunya wa ma fiha allahu akbar allahu akbar he used to say the two rak'ah of Fajr, which is the Sunnah. This is the two Sunnah, the two rak'ah that you pray before Fajr Salah. He used to say the two rak'ah of Fajr are better than the entire life and whatever it contains. Imagine two rak'ah of Fajr. There's some people who don't pray those two rak'ah of Fajr. They just, there's some people who don't pray Fajr at all. They don't pray Fajr at all. They just pray whenever they wake up. Those who pray. And there are others, alhamdulillah, who never miss Salat al-Fajr on time in the masjid. Who are crying today, tears, tears, because the masjids have been shut down and they cannot go and pray at the masjids. So the Prophet would pray those tulaka. What would he do like, you know, after that, brothers and sisters? What would he do? Imagine what would the Prophet do after that, sisters and brothers. Can you, who can tell me? Let me see if you guys are, are following with me here. What does the Prophet Muhammad do after he prays two rak'at of Fajr? Huh? Those of you on Facebook, those of you on Instagram, what does the Prophet Muhammad do والسلام, after he prays two rak'at Fajr Sunnah? Sunnah, the Sunnah. What does he do after that, inshallah? Who can guess? Who can tell me? Go to the mosque? No, he does not go to the mosque. He does not go to the mosque. What does he do? What does he do? Who can tell me? Those of you on, the, on Facebook as well, please. MashaAllah, we've got, MashaAllah, great attendance today. You know, who, what does he do, guys? Yalla, Yashmin, she says, go to the mosque. You know, light spread, he would wake wife up, walk to the mosque. No, he goes to the masjid. No, I just said no. No, he does not go to the masjid yet. No, 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 no. Yeah, and he light spread, you're about... All right, there. Make dua. Uh, no, not yet. No, not yet. No, 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 no. Uh, no, you know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would, he would, um, I no, not make dua. No, wait for Bilal to come and call him. Yes, he would wait for Bilal. But in the meantime, while he's waiting for Bilal, what does he do? Yes, he would wake his wife up if she's not awake. But if she's awake, he would go and talk to his wife. If he's sleeping that night with Aisha, he would have a, a small chat with Aisha. Assalamu alayka, Aisha. Sabah al khair. Assalamu alayka. Assalamu alayki. Ayush or Aish. Uh, how, how was your day? How was your morning? How did you sleep well? He would just have that normal chit chat between a husband and wife early in the morning he would do his salah his turakat sunnah before going to the masjid let me check on my wife first whoever he's spending the night with that night he will talk to them you know asking about them asking about their night you know uh how's everything did you have a beautiful sleep did you see any dreams maybe i, would, I know if she said if she's seen a dream like a vision the prophet would interpret that dream for her uh وسلم, but if aisha let's say she cannot pray if aisha she cannot pray as you understand right she cannot pray then prophet muhammad would go and not sleep he would recline on his right side and wait wait for bilal to come and say once the masjid gets filled with people because they used to wait the people who live in the outskirts of medina they walk you know they have to walk to the masjid right like uh, like abu Bakr, you know man and others you know sometimes they had to go you know and they walk all the way to the masjid so he gives them time you know for the masjid to be to to for everybody to come to the masjid and then bilal would come to the Prophet from outside of the door and then he would say As-salaa ya Rasulallah As-salaa As-salaa ya Rasulallah Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Nabiina Muhammad
he would say, As-salah, as-salah, ya Rasulullah. As-salah, as-salah, O Prophet of Allah. As-salah, as-salah, O Prophet of Allah. And then, you know, and then Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu was salam, as he's uh, reclining, I mean, on his right side, and then he will go, he will stand up, and then he will open, you know, his door, and then, uh, uh, um, um, after he went and he spoke to Aisha and asking about her and how was she and and know and and, and uh, uh, you know talking to her about her night this is if she's if she's awake you know if she's not awake he will wake her up and if if uh, she does not pray then he would go and recline on his right side and then he would wait for Bilal to come Bilal would say salat salat ya Rasulullah prayer prayer oh Rasulullah and then the Prophet Muhammad would stand up he will open the door and then he would step with the right foot alayhi salatu wassalam he would step with his right foot to inside the masjid because whenever he used to enter the masjid he would enter the masjid with his right foot and then he would say bismillah wa salatu wassalam ala rasulillah allahumma ighfir li dhunubi wa ftah li abwaab rahmatik allahumma ighfir li dhunubi wa ftah li abwaab rahmatik he would open the door and then he would put his right foot first and he would say alhamdulillah bismillah wa salatu wassalam ala rasulillah Bismillah, wassalatu wassalam ala rasulillah. All the time, bismillah, before he starts anything, bismillah. Before you go out, bismillah. When you come back home, bismillah. When you close the door, bismillah. When you open the door, bismillah. When you turn the car, you know, your car on, you know, the ignition on, say bismillah. When you start cooking, bismillah. When you drop something and you want to pick it up, bismillah. When you give something, hey, bismillah. When you take something from someone, say bismillah. All the time, Bismillah, in the name of Allah, in the name of Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, to bless whatever you're doing. So Prophet Muhammad will open the door and then say Bismillah. وصلت السلام على رسول الله. أعوذ بالله العظيم ووجه الكريم وسلطان القديم من الشيطان الرجيم. اللهم اغفر لي ذنوبي وافتح لي أبواب رحمتك. And then he will go to lead the prayer sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he would lead the prayer alayhi salatu wa salam some it was known that prophet muhammad used to uh, uh, uh he used to uh in this especially for salat al-fajr he would elongate it a little bit he would elongate it a little bit sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he would make it long salat al-fajr alayhi salatu wa salam and then after praying salat al-fajr you know, and the Sahaba are behind them. Imagine the Sahaba are praying behind the Prophet, Rasulullah They're praying behind him. They're listening to the Quran coming out from the mouth of the Prophet Muhammad The Prophet Muhammad, they will hear the Quran coming out from the beautiful, beautiful mouth of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then when the Prophet Muhammad will finish the Salah, as soon as he will finish the salah, he will say, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. And then he will start making istighfar. The very first thing, the very first thing before even that, something that maybe I missed when the Sahaba are standing for the salah, before even the Prophet Muhammad used to start the salah, he would always go around the lines, making sure that the lines are straight. And he used to tell them, استووا تراسوا اعتدلوا سووا صفوفكم يرحمكم الله سووا صفوفكم يرحمكم الله يرحمكم فإن تسوية الصفوف من تمام الصلاة he would go make sure no no line by line making sure the lines are straight shoulder to shoulder foot to foot like this you know they don't need no gaps for the shaitan making sure the lines are straight and then he would tell them استووا تراسوا strain up your lines تراسوا أقيموا صفوفكم يرحمكم سووا صفوفكم يرحمكم الله فإن تسوية الصفوف من تمام الصلاة and then he would lead his صلاة صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم it was narrated or reported that the prophet would normally recite about sixty آيات for صلاة ال 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 الفجر about sixty آيات that prophet Muhammad would 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 normally you know uh, uh, lead the Salat al-Fajr with Alayhi Salat was Salam. Uh, can you imagine? You are behind the Prophet Muhammad. You're behind. You know you're with the Sahaba praying behind the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam. And then he would finish the Salat. And after he finished the Salat, the very first thing he would say: Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. 
three times. Why? Why would the Prophet make istighfar? Why would the Prophet make istighfar? He just finished the salah. Why does he have to seek forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal? He just finished the prayer. He just did something good. He just worshipped Allah. He was in a state of obedience. He was in a state of worship. Why? After finishing the salah, he would say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. And then what would he do, alayhi salatu salam? He would turn, what? Turn to what? You know, when does he turn facing the Sahaba? When does he turn? Does he turn, does he turn, you know, uh, after finishing the dhikr? Does he turn, uh, does he turn on the, to his right? Does he turn towards his left? How does he turn, alayhi salatu salam? And then what does he ask the Sahaba? What does he tell them? What does, you know, after, after what? After the salah, does he, uh, what? You know, does he ask them any questions? Does he look around? Something happens. So what does the beautiful thing that happen? You know, kids, all of a sudden we hear kids happening. We hear, we see kids coming, coming to see what? To do what with Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu They, well, you know, they, they, then, then the Prophet, you know, what, that, what do the Sahaba, uh, what do the Sahaba, you know, uh, do when, when the, when, uh, when after finishing the Salah, do they go back to their homes or do they stay in the Masjid? What does the Prophet do after he finishes the Salah? Does he go home or does he stay in the Masjid? Until when does he stay to the Masjid? When does he go back home? And where? What home does he go to? Because he has you know, the homes of all his wives in there. So who's the first wife he goes to visit? Before coming to the Masjid, in fact, who does he go to visit? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even before coming to the Masjid and then going back to the Masjid, does he eat anything after he goes back to the, you know, back home? Does he eat anything? And then around midday, where does he go now? You know, at around midday and around Doha time, where does he go? Alayhi salatu salam, around Doha time. We want to learn more about Prophet Muhammad. We want to learn more about a day with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This is why I call it walking with the Prophet or upon the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. May Allah azza wa jal grant us the ability to see his face in Jannah, insha'Allah ta'ala. What a blessing. What a blessing to be able to see the Prophet Muhammad in Jannah. Ya Allah. What a, what a, what a, what an honor to be able to be, you know, what a, what, this is the ultimate, ultimate, you know, uh, 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 success is to be able to be with the Prophet in Jannah and to see the Prophet in Jannah, insha'Allah ta'ala. We want to spend more time with the Prophet Muhammad So brothers and sisters, may Allah bless you, may Allah reward you. Thank you so much for joining. We will resume tomorrow, insha'Allah ta'ala. We will resume tomorrow, insha'Allah ta'ala. Uh, more about another day with the Prophet Muhammad. Another day because we saw the night. We want to see the day of the Prophet. What does he do again throughout the day? We want to go to that, insha'Allah ta'ala, tomorrow, same time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. 10.30 p.m. UK time, insha'Allah ta'ala. Thank you so much for joining, brothers and sisters, those of you on Facebook. Those of you on Facebook, thank you so much for joining. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah reward you. May Allah bless you. Uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Those of you on Instagram, thank you so much for joining. May Allah bless you. May Allah reward you. Thank you, Nawal. Thank you, Shazia. Thank you, Muslima Nasima. Thank you, Riyad Ibtisam. Thank you, Karima. Thank you, Light Spread. Thank you, Yashmin. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Badagani. Thank you, uh, Shazia. Thank you, Bai Zoraya Zizaz. Thank you, Nawal. Thank you. All right, all of you, whoever are there. Thank you, Sophie Saeed. Thank you. Thank you, guys. May Allah bless you. Thank you for joining. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah.